name is Sanjay Ram. I'm the Regional Director for North Queensland for Transport and Main Roads. I've been in TMR for nearly 26 years. Um, started as a graduate and I'm currently in the program delivery area. I have, my background is in program delivery and project delivery, uh, ranging from some major projects in South East Queensland to now in Far North Queensland. So I'm the Regional Director for North Queensland. I look after all infrastructure upgrades, um, capital works, um, engagement with stakeholders in Far North Queensland. Um, my area goes from uh, north of Bowen all the way to the Cape York. So in my area in, in North Queensland region, um, we've got uh, a number of um, Aboriginal Torres Strait councils that we work with very closely with. However, one of the main projects that we've been working is up on the Cape York on the Peninsula Development Road. The PDR is about 600, mid, 600 kilometres long uh, and we are progressively sealing it. The project um, includes working with local Indigenous businesses, um, local individual um, um, individuals, trying to um, get them opportunities to work on those projects and, and, and get, build capability in, in developing their own businesses. We have, uh, there's a couple of good examples that I'll talk about. The first one is um, when we were progressively sealing the Endeavour Valley Road, there was a couple of young fellows who were working with Road Tech as partnership with Hopewell Council, got the opportunity to work and learn on a trainer grader, we call it. So it's a grader that has got two seats where they sit next to each other with the um, uh, trainer and learn how to operate a machinery like the grader. These two young fellows, after the project has finished, has been able to then take that experience and build on their own business and has gone and bought plant, which they're now subcontract to councils like Cookshire Council. The other success story on the PDR project as part of the Indigenous Land Use Agreement, um, we've got a scholarship program. And the scholarship program allows the young people of the Cape to um, explore their opportunities in education in both secondary and tertiary. One of the success stories has been a gentleman called Mitchell Michael. He's um, recently graduated with a Bachelor of um, Environment, I understand, and recently was back working in TMR in Concurria District. So that to me is a great success story where we've seen someone who's come through the program and has ended up working in TMR um, and has seen the benefits of it. Yes, the roads have helped them a lot. Um, what it means for them is the livability has improved. They've been able to access uh, facilities like education, um, hospital services and stuff. So instead of taking 10 to 13 hours a, a day to travel to um, destinations, they now can access those services. Their, their health has improved in the communities. They've been able to get goods to those communities quickly um, and also obviously build on housing and in local infrastructure like um, playing grounds for the kids, swimming pools and things like that. So generally, you know, whilst the roads have contributed a lot for them, the, the livability in their own communities has improved and they're much happier. Certainly we are more aware of um, how we should engage with the First Nations people. Um, it's, it's given us an opportunity to understand their culture and, and the importance of the land to them. Uh, when we've been out there looking at future alignments for roads or even current alignments for roads, how to um, engage with them with accessing water or gravel, just understanding the cultural value, the cultural um, importance um, and talking to them about what to look out for has been very important. It's also increased our knowledge of how to preserve um, cultural heritage and, and also to make sure that we protect for future uh, generations to come. I think as the, I said with the PDS scholarship program, I think that's a good start. I think our future engagement will be in um, building capability and capacity of these Indigenous businesses uh, in, the, in the Cape and across the state. Um, we sh I think we should encourage more engagement with them um, through partnership on projects, not as a main contractor, but maybe as a subcontractor. So they're, they're the opportunities we should be exploring. <laughs>